welcome to the fifth video in the Mac Basics 101 tutorial series here at Apple Byte. Today we'll be talking about file management, uh, which includes copying, pasting, and moving files and folders around your computer. So to start off with, I'll start by creating a new folder here on the desktop. Let's name it Magic Folder. All right, there's our Magic Folder. And so in order to copy it, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this, edit, copy, and then to paste it back on the desktop, edit, paste item. And now we have a second magic folder, which will be a duplicate to this folder, the first folder. Let's go ahead and delete that. And uh, so this magic folder, it's on the desktop now. So if we open up our finder and look on our desktop, there is our magic folder. So let's say we don't want it on the desktop. We want it in our pictures folder. There are two di distinctions to know when moving folders is do you want it copied or do you want it to be moved? Moving a folder will mean that it'll be gone from its original location. Copying will mean that you create a duplicate into the second area. And so it'll, it'll then exist in two locations. So first, let's copy this magic folder and put it, paste it into the pictures folder. Okay, so let's select our magic folder. Go to edit, copy, go to pictures and paste item. And now we have somewhere in here, there it is, magic folder here in our pictures folder. As well as you'll see it's still on the desktop. So it's in two locations now. We copied it. I'll delete that. Now let's go back to our desktop. We have a folder. Let's say we want to move it from the desktop to the pictures folder. So to do this, it requires click and drag. So you click on the file and then you'll move it over the pictures folder and you'll see how it highlights and then you can let go. And you'll notice that it disappeared from the desktop. It's not here on the desktop anymore. It is only in the pictures folder right there. Um, so we back, want it back on the desktop, click and drag, let it highlight, and there it is. You see it pop up on the desktop and it's here on the desktop in the desktop folder. Now let's say that we want to move this folder into a folder that is inside of pictures folder. For example, we want to move it into this ink spot folder right here. So what we can do is, again, click and drag this. And instead of releasing it, we're going to hover over the pictures folder. And wait a few seconds, it'll flash. And now, off to the right, we have open the pictures folder. Now we can locate that ink spot folder and let go. And now we have the magic folder inside of the ink spot folder. It is no longer on the desktop. So that's the basics of moving a folder. One more trick that I'll show you that I prefer to do when moving things on a Mac is to open up a new tab in Finder. So File, New Tab, and you'll see you have now two different tabs open on Finder. One is in this Inkspot folder, and one is at my Home folder. So what I do is I will open one tab to the original location of your folder. So my magic folder is here in this tab. Go to the second tab and find where you want to move it to. So I want to move it back to the desktop. So now I go back to the original location, click and drag over to this tab, and you'll see that it pops up now in the desktop folder and you see it pop up on the desktop itself. And so using tabs just makes it a little bit easier, more convenient, and moving files back and forth You're in one tab you have open where the file is located in the other tab where you want it to go and then you click and drag to that other tab. So that is file management on a Mac. Um, go ahead and like this video and subscribe for more videos like this and comment below on other videos you'd like to see in this tutorial series. Thanks and I'll talk to you in the next one.